Welcome to reteaching topic one. We are going to start with set A. You can count on to find the sum. So it shows us four, five, six, or two, three, four, five, six. I can add numbers in any order to get the same sum. Four plus two equals six, or two plus four also equals six. Four plus two is the same as two plus four. Let's look at it on this side. Count on to find the sum. Then change the order of the add-ins. 9 plus 3, 9. 10, 11, 12. 9 plus 3 equals 12. Let's change the order of the add-ins. So now we have 3 plus 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, still equals 12. So 9 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 12. Let's try it again with 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 equals 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's change the order of add-ins. 4 plus 6 equals 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 has the same sum. So 6 plus 4 equals 4 plus 6. Your add-ins can be in a different order and have the same sum. Let's look at set B. You can use doubles to help you add near doubles. If 4 plus 4 equals 8, so 3 plus 4 equals 7. 3 plus 4 is 1 less than 4 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. Let's try it over here. Complete the double facts. Use the double facts to solve the near doubles. 8 plus 8 is... That's right. 16. So 7 plus 8 is 1 less. If it's 1 less than 16, it is, that's right, 15. Let's try it again. 5 plus 5 is a double. 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 plus 5, that's one more. 1 more than 10 is 11. So my near double is 11. Good job. Turn the page and we will go to page 48. We are on set C. You can make a 10 to help add 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 equals what? I'm going to take my 8 and then look at my 6, take 2 away from the 6 to make 10. So now I have 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4 is easy. It equals 14. So 8 plus 6 equals 14. 
Let's try it on our own. 8 plus 4. I have 8, and I'm going to borrow 2. So on here, I'm going to change it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to only have 2 left down here. So now I have 10 plus 2, which is 12. So 8 plus 4 is 12. Nice job. Let's look at set D. You can count on or count back to find 11 minus 4. Start at 4 and count on 7 places to 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 minus 4 equals 7. Start at 11 and count back 4 spaces to get to 7. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So 11 minus 4 equals 7. Count on or count back to subtract. Show your work on the number line. 8 minus 5. 8. 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 3 is our answer. 15 minus 6. We can also count forward. So 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 15 minus 6 equals 9. We used our count forward on this one. Very nice job. On set E. You can think addition to help you subtract. Find 16 minus 9. You think 9 plus 7 equals 16. So 16 minus 9 equals 7. Let's try it on this side. Subtract. Write the addition fact that helps you. 13 minus 7 equals what? 7 plus what equals 13? So let's figure that out. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 7 plus 6 equals 13. 13 minus 7 equals 6. Let's try that again. We're trying to figure out 17 minus 9 equals what? So 9 plus what equals 17? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 plus 8 is 17, 
So 17 minus 9 is 8. It's easier to figure out our addition facts, so we use our addition to figure out subtraction. Set F. You can make a 10 to subtract. Find 17 minus 8. 17 minus 7 equals 10. So we took 17 and we changed it. 10 minus 1 equals 9. 17 minus 8 equals 9. Make it 10 to find 13 minus 8. Draw the counters to show your work. So let's draw in our counters. Thirteen. So we have 13 minus 8, we have 5 left. 13 minus 3 equals 10. 10 minus 3 is 8. 13 minus 5 is 5. 13 minus 8 is 5. This one's supposed to be 5. Whoops. 5. There we go. Sorry, Mrs. Johnson messed that one up. Moving right along to set G. Set G. You can use addition or subtraction to solve word problems. 11 grapes are in a bowl. Nine grapes are in a cup. Let's circle the important information. We have 11 grapes in a bowl, nine grapes in a cup. How many fewer grapes are in the cup? How many fewer grapes are in a cup? So we want to know fewer grapes. 11 minus nine equals two. So two fewer grapes are in the cup. Write an equation to solve each problem. So you can use 9 plus 2 equal 11 or 11 minus 9 equals 2 to show that there are two fewer grapes in the cup. You can use addition or subtraction to show Either way, that this is two fewer grapes. So let's show over here how we can solve these problems with equations. Write an equation to solve each problem. Let's circle the information that's important why we write our problems out. 11. 13 shirts are in the closet. So we're going to circle the number 13. 8 shirts are in a box. Circle the number 8. How many more shirts are in the closet? So we're looking for how many more. 
So 13 shirts are in the closet. We have 13 minus eight is going to equal how many more shirts? So now we have to subtract. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Gave us five more shirts in the closet. Five more shirts. Drake has 10 more books than Yuri. So he has 10 more books. Yuri has 10 books. How many books does Drake have? Well, if Yuri has 10 books and Drake has 10 plus 10 more books, that's a double. 10 plus 10 equals how many? That's right, 10 plus 10 is 20. Good job, that was a double. That was good figuring. 20 books all together. Set H. Thinking habits. Construct arguments. How can I use math to explain why my work is correct? Did I use the correct numbers and symbols? Solve. Use word, pictures, or numbers to construct arguments. Tyler read 15 pages of a book. Anne read 9 pages of the same book. Did Tyler read 4 more pages than Anne? Explain. Let's look. If we said Tyler read 15 pages of a book and we subtract and find out Anne read nine pages of the book and we're going to figure it out, let's see. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Six. Says, did Tyler read four more pages than Anne? No. He read six more pages. Than Anne. should be a capital. Because we did the work and we figured it out. And that is the end of our reteaching. Get ready to study for our assessment practice on our next meeting.